Down under in Sydney, Derryman Chris McKeague emerges at the home of the Sydney Swans, a finely tuned athlete showing the benefits of full-time professional sport. He's on the verge of a breakthrough to the first team, judging by displays for the seconds like this just last week. It's a long way from the breakthrough he made to the Derry team two years ago. I suppose uh, under Damien Cassidy in the year before was kind of cut my teeth senior level. Um, just left school and stuff like that there. And, uh, Got a place in the, squ uh, the team and cemented my place and played a reasonable football. But you know, it wasn't until the end of that year that I felt comfortable at that level. I know what I mean comfortable is um, playing with that pace of the game and the players. So you know, that's it was hard leaving because you felt you had uh, you had earned uh, the right to play senior football, and uh, it was hard coming over here. And it's it is hard watching Derry play in the championship. But um, you know, the opportunities here for me. So. Um, you know, I want to stick it out and I've always said it, uh, sometime I will go back and play uh, for Derry and my, my club also and, um, you know, but definitely not for hopefully a few years yet because I want to give this a real crack and I'd give up too much to not give it a real go and, you know, that's uh, that's definitely the, the most important thing to, to add. Another exile in the same city is Mark Murphy, captain of Michael Cusick's and still looking every bit a county player. He left Ireland two years ago and concedes that he's unlikely to ever play again in the green of Fermanagh. Yeah, more or less, you know, I suppose you can say that. Like, um, you have to make a choice for like, football, you know, as, 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 as much as I love it and, and, and play it, you know, year in, year out from 16, 17. You know, you have to look after yourself first, you know, and, and, and as I says, at the minute, you know, life's good out here, you have football out here, you know, it leaves it so much easier. Fermanagh have had a difficult winter, shall we say, they could maybe do with you. How do you think they'll do in the Ulster Championship? Surprise package, for like, you know, 2004, you know what I mean, you can look at a similar situation. The boys have nothing to lose, like, they've, they've, they've great, you know, a couple of leaders in there, you know, still have Barry Owens, you know, a couple of boys, Paul Ward, you know, boys that have played, you know, a couple of years, but the thing is, like, the only way I suppose you're going to get the future is bringing lads through, you know. And like, there's probably going to be six, seven, eight lads that's making their debut against Derry. They've nothing to lose. Like, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be tough. But you know, as I said, like, it's the only way you're going to learn. And let me ask you as well about the championship back home, Derry against Fermanagh next week. Yeah. Uh, your thoughts on that one? Um, yeah, the kill up did it with Derry and all the J action as as usual. But um, I know Derry have had a lot of injury problems. Uh, it's present. Um, Paddy obviously uh, done his cruciate recently, and uh, there's a few guys just not back. Patsy Bradley, my own club mate, um, he's not right either, and Big Fergal Doherty's he's not uh, not uh, in contention either. So it's going to be a real test, and you know, f I mean, Fermanagh are always uh, good for a shock. They've shown that, and they can play, and they can play football, no doubt about that. So um, I'm going to tap Derry because it's Celtic Park, and uh, John Brennan's a pretty a pretty good manager in his championship. Uh, uh, Ron speaks for itself, so hopefully a dairy one, definitely.